So I'm here with this guy. It's me. It's my birthday. Be money. So he has a birthday this week. And usually birthdays are a one day thing. But this year I decided to make it a week long thing. So today we're gonna start some surprises. And this is a, uh, it's not a clue to where we're going or anything. It's just, I thought it was sweet and I really wanted you to have it to kick off birthday week. And this is from some of your loyal fans. <laughs> Except I didn't write stuff. <laughs> it's notes it's from all of our friends. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. See, people do like you. <laughs> so, the second part of the surprise, and I was going to uh, wait until we got there, but then I realized you're probably going to drive. So I should probably tell you where we're going. So do you want to know where we're going? Sure. <laughs> should I act surprised? Or... <laughs> I'm pretty sure I already know. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are staying at the Bermuda. We are staying at a tiny house. Yay, tiny house. Anyway, surprise. Yay. Happy birthday. Made it inside. We found it. It was a little confusing figuring out how to get into this. Like, there's a lot of tiny houses here, and they weren't super clearly marked. But I guess once we knew what we were looking for, we were able to find it. It's tiny. <laughs> it's so and tiny. The, the first thing Angie did when we got head. in here, she climbed up to check out the bed up top, and she hit her head on one of the roof beams. Something I get really freaked out about is when I hit my head and I bang my teeth together. I've got a few fractures in my teeth from doing that all the time. So I hate, it, oh it's cringy when I do it, I hate it, but you're good so far. Yeah, it's pretty nice in here. Um, I'm a little disappointed at the size of the mattress up there. I yeah, know! It's like a twin size mattress up there. It's almost, I think we'd do better off sleeping here. Yeah! I'm like, it's cute though! We'll, we'll figure it out.
So Angie, what do you think of the tiny house? It's adorable. It's very tiny. Yeah. But it's cute. My only downside would be the uh, small mattress up on the yeah. space up there. I do wish there was a little more head space. Yeah. Up there in the loft and a yeah. bigger mattress. Yeah. Other than that, I think it's great. Did I get you? Yeah. Cool. The the younger one kind of spoiled the surprise, but <gasps> this is great. We'll uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. I think here's what we're gonna do. We're going to relax for a little bit, get our stuff in here, chill out, maybe find some. I I would rather instead of go to a restaurant, I would rather bring some food back here so we have more time here. And then, you know, just chill out by the dock, maybe drink a truly, just relax, have fun. Wanna know what I think is funny? These are Wama pillows. They're so Wama. cute. Ridiculous. So, how cute is this little door? I'm not really a farmhouse person, so I don't love barn doors, but this, I like this. It's very cute, and not at all farmhousey. Um, Mom. Ooh, flamingo, this is nice. All right, we're gonna go try out the kayaks. They are free to use if you stay here. And you, you have to sign a waiver. Yeah, you just have to sign a waiver, just in case. <laughs> but we're gonna go try it out. We boating. We boating. Look at our children on their own kayaks. Look at him, my babies. This is so crazy to me. I mean, they're they're big kids. They're not little, but it's still weird to see them doing stuff like this. I feel like they should still be two years old, so it's weird for me. But I love it's it's bittersweet. Well, kayaking was a huge success. It was the adorable. boys had fun. Um, I'm gonna I'll put some pictures in at the end. It was so cute. Yeah, um, both of our kids wanted their own kayak, and um, we, we thought they weren't going to do it. But we were they, hesitant. They did, they did great. Yeah. The little one, uh, James, was just paddling away. It was really cute. I was, I was blown away. I didn't know what to expect, but he just, he was like, what's taking you guys so long? So, mm. it was cute. Yeah, I think we're going to figure out dinner. Yeah, um, we're going to... This, this tiny house has a full kitchen. Mm -hmm. But we didn't pack food, so no. we are going to No, we have to, muffins. We have muffins, yeah. That's, that's for breakfast. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I think we we're going to go to Publix or somewhere and pick up some food. And bring it back so we can enjoy the lake. Yep. Okay, so we'll, we'll check in with you in a minute, but for now we're going to figure out dinner. We'll see what we can come up with. Alright, we've got our food. I got a sub. The boys got subs and lunch bowls and whatever they wanted. Yeah, she's got vegetables, because she's weird. Um, I think we're gonna go sit outside, down by the water, mm -hmm. and enjoy our dinner, and just wind down for the rest of the night. There's not too much else to do when it gets dark, so we're just gonna enjoy ourselves, and um, find all the lights in this place. All right, so we'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, y'all. Uh, we made it through the night. Um, slept okay. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> Let's just be honest. I slept all right. The boys slept all right. Yeah, we could have slept better. There, there was a big outdoor spotlight right out the window. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Oh, oh, stay uh, tuned. <laughs> yeah, so it's kind of not a great day outside which kind of puts a damper on all the outdoor activities. No pun intended. Damper. Damp. Uh, you see, I'm funny and I don't even know. I, I don't get any respect for <laughs> So Angie, what are, why don't you say some things that you like about the place? Yeah. And I'll say some things that I would change about. No, what I like about this place is how clean this little tiny houses and, and how cute it is. Yeah, this is very much our aesthetic. Actually! If you can, I mean, you know, you see in our, they got these nice Oh yeah, the shelves. shelves. Yeah, that's we what we We did something done. similar in our house. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, it's a very nice aesthetic Yeah, it is. Um, so in my own decor, 
I'm almost afraid to use bright colors. Um, they feel very loud to me. So I everything's gray or brown or white or more gray. But looking around here, I'm inspired. That color in your home doesn't have to be scary. You can have pops here and there. And yeah, that's, that's what I like about it. You can still keep your edge. <laughs> That's what I like about this place is it's got a lot of nice clean whites and grays mm -hmm. and then like this wall is a nice pop of color. I love that wall. Against the white on the other one. I like the water because when you wake up and open the blinds it, it feels like you're on a boat because all you see is water and it's really cute. I just like how everything has like a form and a function. There's nothing in here that's frivolous. Everything is intentional and that's how I strive to be in my own life. Uh, it's hard, but anyway, inspired by this place. Definitely think that when we are empty nesters, we could live in a teeny house like this. Very hard to do with two growing boys though. Yes. Um, they are growing, 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 and I just feel like it would be hard for them. <laughs> Every every little noise oh, is yeah. like amplified oh, in yeah. the small of the space. Especially when everything's tile. And there's nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. Like you can go outside, which is nice, but oh, the, yeah. the other units are kind of close together. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, this one, I don't know if we mentioned, this is the Bermuda suite. Um, and there's nothing to this side, it's just like a parking area and then like an office or something, I'm not really sure. And then there's one unit to the other side of us, but nobody's in it right now, at least if there is, they're there secretly is spying on us. No, there is. Um, I saw this morning, I waved. Where the bed is, not on the loft, the other bed, there's a big window, which is nice, except for this location, there's a huge street lamp right outside the window. I Made mean, it really hard to sleep. <laughs> so I wish there was like a blackout curtain. I actually, in the middle of the night, took the drop cloth curtain from the van and tucked it into the rings of the bunk bed to kind of try and block out the... It helped, it did. If there was a blackout curtain, it would be no issue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's just a little thing that kept us up. But... Yeah, these are just us being picky. Oh, yeah. and the Wi-Fi doesn't work. Great. Yeah, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. That's a bummer. More for the kids. It's not a huge deal for us because we're only here for one night, so it's not like we had to get work done and stuff, but if we did, that would be an issue. Yeah, maybe we just couldn't figure it out, but yeah. it wasn't working for us. Yeah, so just little things like that, but all in all, this place was adorable. Mm -hmm. Loved getting to see the boys kayak yesterday. That was so, so fun for me. I think we're going to get this place cleaned up mm -hmm. and probably call it a day. Yeah, because what you don't know is that we have one night at home and then we're back out camping this week is so busy but luckily yeah. for y'all tons of content coming this is my birthday week and it's also thanksgiving week. so he took the week off and of I his regular job to focus on this job yep so yeah we're gonna get this place cleaned up yep we'll leave you here for the night. i'm gonna insert some pictures so stay tuned for those they're adorable if i do say so myself <laughs> yeah and uh stay tuned because we're going camping in not, a, not tonight, tomorrow night that's what at is. Rainbow Springs. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, by the time this video comes out, we'll already be back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that'll be great. We've got some uh, paddle boards hopefully we can try out. Hopefully the weather is better there. Um, it is a little bit chilly outside, but the temperature in the springs is supposed to be the same regardless of Yeah, the I'm not outside. going swimming. <laughs> I'll get there anyway. One way or another. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, all right, y'all. Well, thanks We're gonna for leave watching. You here. And we are getting there. Enjoy the pictures. Bye.